everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the corkscrew stitch. This is a 3x1 twist. You can see at the bottom it's got three short strands and one long strand. And this is the twisted version of the wall stitch I'm going to show right here. I do have a video on this, it'll be in the description. I recommend trying that first. And once you do some really cool combos like this between the corkscrew and the wall stitch, that's why I recommend learning both. Um, the wall stitch just kind of does this little turnaround here and changes the direction of the spin. To start this project, you're going to need three short pieces of Gimp or Boondoggle and one longer strand. I recommend one and a half times the length. And you're just going to take your first strand, find the center, and place the center on your index finger, taking the back strand and wrapping it around the front. Doing the same thing with the next strand. Placing the center on your finger, taking the back strand and wrapping it around the front. Same with the last strand. Taking the back and wrapping it around the front. On your finger, you should have tail loop, tail loop, tail loop in the front and in the back. The same tail loop, tail loop, tail loop. Once you have that situated, you can take your longer strand and feed it under all of those loops you just made. And you're just gonna wanna pull this until you find the center and that will be under your middle strand. We're taking our long strand from the right side and we're going, um, working back to front. So we're going over the tail and under the loop, and then over the tail and under the loop, feeding that all the way through. If you have any tangles, just flip it and keep that strand in the back. So you see our tails on the end are locked in. And then we're gonna take the front strand on the left side, keeping this in the front going across over the tail and under the <laughs> over the tail and under the loop over under over under and pulling it all the way through so see how our tails on the end are locked in I mean, we're ready to take this off our finger. So you're just gonna loosen your tension. And then keeping the strands on their side, pulling tight. And there you have your base. So working back to front, we're not taking these strands and going straight across like we do in the wall. We're taking it and we're placing them to the side. So it should cross over like this. Next, we're taking our long strand and it is actually the farthest away. And we're bringing that across and placing it over all the tails we just brought over to this side. Next, we're taking our remaining short strands and bringing them across. So the first two should go in between and the last one should be on the outside. Then you could take your remaining long strand, the white strand over here, and just bring it through all those loops we made. And then you can pull tight. going to show you guys a couple more times. So we're bringing our far strands um, over and we're placing them to the side of each of the opposite strands. And 
Then we're taking our white long strand, bringing that straight across. And then taking those and going in between. Taking the remaining long strand and going through all those loops we just made. And then you can pull tight. Alright, so one last time I'm going to show you guys. We're bringing our short strands and to the side. Taking the farthest away long strand and just bringing it over and laying it across. Taking our remaining short strands and going in between and over. And taking that last long strand and going through all the loops we just made. And of course, we're going to just pull tight. And that is how you do this stitch. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped y'all.